Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to go over a workflow where we are going to find a company's social uh, platform link. We're going to find a post of theirs, and then we're going to send them video ideas that, you know, UGC creators or, or something like that. Mostly a creative marketing campaign is what we're going to be sending for them. And so you'd be able to send an email like, hey, I just saw uh, the post about AI generated content. Um, if you're trying to connect with more UGC creators who can make videos like one, two, three, we're going to generate those examples with AI. I could connect you with those UGC creators. Uh, just, you know, give me a shout. That's essentially the email that we're trying to send. So the first thing that we need to be able to do is we first need their TikTok account. So in Clay, there's a tool or an integration called Scrape Website, which one of the outputs is the TikTok account. It's very easy to set this up. You literally just map the domain make the output fields, the social links, and then you can get these TikTok accounts when we uh, discover them. The next thing is we need to set up our Google search. And to show you what we're going to do really quick, if we go to site, oh, I actually have it up right now. So if we do site tiktok.com backslash fashion Nova backslash video, and we hit go, this first link here is a legitimate post that fashion Nova actually posted. And so is this one as well. They actually posted these and we can call them out on this. I think they vote posted this one. They posted this one, CSS Fashion Nova right there. Um, and maybe we can even put like June in here to make this a little bit better. Yeah, so this is one of their recent posts uh, about this. And so now what we can do is we have the Google search here that we're gonna be using to put this together. So when you use site colon, that means I want you to return results from Google, but I only want them to be with this link inside of them. And then June is just to make sure that they actually posted it pretty recently. And so we're gonna do that. So we're gonna create this Google search. The first thing we need to create this Google search though is we need to kill this URL and, or I mean, shorten it. See, it says HTTPS and then backslash www dot and then tiktok.com. Uh, all of that is gonna make our site search a little uh, inaccurate. So we're going to map the, whoops, we're going to map this TikTok and we're going to make it bare. Oh, actually that might take it too far. Hold on. Yeah, this might take it too far. Nope. Perfect. This is exactly what we want. Okay, great. So now we'll create the Google search. So we'll go here. We'll create our Google search. So same thing, site backslash, but now we're going to hit backslash so that we can map everything in here, just like an Excel formula. So then we'll put the normalized URL in here. And then we're going to put June. Oh, this normalized URL only includes at complex. So we need to put backslash video right after this too. So it matches perfectly. And we'll just put June. And so now the same Google search that we did over here is this Google search now. So we'll hit continue to add fields and we'll run the first 10 rows. And now we're going to get uh, some of their recent posts and we're going to get the snippet from their recent posts. So let's grab this here. And so see how we have the snippet here. So Kylie Jenner's summer staples tinted butter bomb in shade. Yeah, whatever. Um, we're going to get another one. Our summer lip balm obsession, new tinted, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. Then we go to this one. Fashion trends, spring outfit, summer outfit, fashion trends, cargo pants, baggy pants. Yeah, great. And then summer 21 in full effect, we're feeling. Oh, that's so funny. They're like doing a throwback there, I guess. Uh, to, okay, I mean, yeah, we're, we shouldn't do Fashion Nova for a YouTube video. Uh, bodybuilding.com, this is way better. <laughs> okay, discover your ultimate summer flavor, beat the heat. And so now what we can do is we can take all of those snippets and we can write AI generated lines about them. So we're gonna take action on this list and we're gonna filter this out. And so what I want is return all of the snippet text from this list into one cell. And so then we'll hit generate formula. Because what I'm gonna do is we have all of these snippets, right? Oh, how did that not work? We have all of these snippets and I want all of the snippets to be in one spot. Um,
bit generate formula. Great. So now we have all of these snippets all in here and we're going to post and we're going to put that in our official intelligence to say, Hey, I was looking at your TikTok page Vogue. Like maybe we'll send them the link. I don't know. And then we can say, I see that you often post about blah, blah, blah. And we'll, we'll make those AI generated lines and then we'll do the UGC creator content one. Uh, output is correct. Say formula. So now we have this. And so now the next thing that we're going to do is now that it's all much easier for us to use is we're going to use AI. So we're going to jump in here and we're going to write our prompt using the input, uh, summarize what a TikTok account usually posts about and complete my sentence. This is the input and then we're going to grab it from here. So we're going to go, that's the input formula. I'm going to put it in quotes. So AI knows what we're talking about. And then we're going to say, uh, keep the output under eight words and, uh, use keywords from the input. Make sure to summarize the text with what this TikTok account usually posts about complete each output with my prefix. This is my prefix. Great. Now we're going to say, I saw your TikTok account and noticed you post about and then blah, blah, blah. Now we're going to add the examples in here. So we're going to add some examples. And this is, this is how we're going to really increase the accuracy of what it's going to say. Cause we can actually show it, you know, when you see this text, you should say this. So we'll go to, we're not doing fashion Nova again. No. So we're going to go here and then we're going to say, all right, let's read this a little bit. Um, So they're doing a lot of like celebrity call outs and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I saw your TikTok uh, and notice you post about celebrity uh, collaborations with uh, Vogue, right? And so then we're going to call this out. Oh, whoops. Is that even how you spell collaborations? Whatever. Now we're going to do it again so that we're just training AI on what we want. Cause we're going to send these straight away in an email and I don't want to check them. So we want to give a lot of examples. So AI makes a good decision about what to say. So then we'll have bodybuilding.com. What are we going to do here? So we put the, the formula in here. Ultimate beat the heat with cool supplements. How do you stick to your diet through the summer? Great. So same thing. We're going to say, I saw your TikTok and notice you post about supplement tips uh and getting abs for the summer great and so we can put this in here and then we can hit continue to add fields we'll map the content and then we can get ai to talk about what this uh, company posts about so this doesn't matter because this isn't tiktok this is these are the only ones that really matter because we got their their tiktok pages let's get some more Let's get some more ones going. So now let's check the ones where we already inputted what we wanted it to say. So I, I noticed you post about Vogue fashion events and cover features. Great. That's awesome. I uh, saw so I took time to notice you post about Kylie Jenner's summer cosmo cosmetics. Perfect. And saw so you notice uh, post about social calendar events and content ideas. Oh, that's wrong. Uh, but this isn't a TikTok page. So that's totally fine. Notice you post about fitness, diet, and supplements. Awesome. So TikTok and notice you post about NBA player trades and summer league highlights. Who's this for? Great. Great. Okay. So now this would be the first sentence in the email. And now we're going to give them more post ideas. And so this is exactly how we're going to do it. We'll go to use AI. You know what I might... What we're going to do here too is I'm going to get the description of the company too. So that, that can help us run some better uh, data on these people. So here, let's do this. And so what I mean by that is um, now that we'll have the description, we can, we can feed AI some more stuff. So we're going to hit use AI again. 
And I'm going to say using the inputs, create three video ideas that um, user generated content creators would be able to build on behalf of the brand. The input inputs I'm going to give you include the description of the company and uh, captions of some of their recent posts. This is the description of the company. Open in quotes, and so we'll grab the description. Cool. This is some captions of their recent post. I know I'm flying blind there. So then we'll hit this. Whoops. And we're just going to take, we're going to use that formula again. So let's use the formula. Boom. Great. Now uh, keep the output to just three sentences and send creative ideas. And output creative ideas for the brand to imagine what creators can post on their behalf. And so now here, it's going to be super important that we give examples because uh, there's no prefix for this and we, we kind of got to like let it run. So we're going to give tons of examples here. So first we'll have, um, oh, we don't have the description. Whoops. Uh, we're going to guess Vogue is a fashion brand for women. We're just going to give it that. Like we're, we're just going to work off of a pretty simple one. And so then what we're going to say is, uh, and now you have to come up with the ones on your own. So I would say, um, Definitely doing bodybuilding.com next. I, I don't know. Uh, So now we're definitely doing bodybuilding.com. I have no clue about this one. Uh, let's do this. Again, so then we're just going to say, usually I would copy and paste this, but I would have to close it and stuff. So that's why I'm uh, gives advice to men and women about workout routines, diets, and supplements. To get them in the best shape of their life. Okay, great. And then recent captions. We'll take their recent. Wow, bodybuilding.com gets 31 likes on their TikToks. Oh, that one did well. Okay, interesting. Okay. So, how did I do UGC content? And so, hopefully, you see like the importance is, is writing out examples so that these. So that AI knows what you want it to say, because otherwise it's not going to know. Um, could help the bodybuilding.com brand by um, 
doing the workouts posted on the website and results. They could also show off creating a meal that was posted on the recipe website. Finally, content creators would be incentivized to show their before and after photos showing the in impact bodybuilding.com has had on their lives. So now we have these examples filled out. We'll hit continue to add fields. And so now this is going to complete what we want to be able to do. So if you are a UGC content creator or you are a um, company that helps connect with them, or you're just here because you just wanted to see some more AI prompt workflows, this is exactly how I'd send an email where I'd basically say, hey, I saw your TikTok, TikTok account and you post about these kinds of things and we'd personalize that. And then, you know, I have them imagine how we would be able to help their brand and how, uh, you know, we could give them ideas based off of this as well. And so, you know, let's review a couple of these. So we're definitely not doing Fashion Nova. Uh, let's do Complex. Uh, can create and post videos showing their summer hangout wearing the brand's latest sneakers and styling ideas. They can create a reaction video uh, on the latest music hits, commenting on the impact of the song on pop culture. Additionally, they could share a day in the life as an intern at a pop culture company detailing their experiences. What does this company do? What was this complex? What is complex? Oh, oh, it's a pop culture thing. Oh, okay. McCormick. Oh, let's see if we got one for this one. Uh, UGC creators could support McCormick for Spice's brand by creating spinoff recipe videos and using McCormick products. Awesome. They could also post holiday themes, food creations. Awesome. It is for the content to host virtual cook-offs or baking challenges using McCormick Spice's creating a sense of community welfare. Not bad. That's really, really good. Let's do one more. Not that one. Let's do, who is this? Nope, not complex. We did bodybuilding.com. I gave it that one. Oh, you've got some more popping up over here. Is this, who is this, Steve Madden? Okay, Steve Madden. Let's see what we said for Steve Madden. Content creators could show themselves unboxing Steve Madden products and sharing their first impressions of the design and quality. They could also create a lookbook video featuring Steve Madden accessories and handbags. Awesome. Another idea is for content creators to document their shopping experience with Steve Madden Pass. Woo, wow, that's awesome. Great, okay. And so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video where instead of I just walk through it really fast of how I did it, I built it live. And, uh, you know, I hope you learned something from this. Thanks for watching.